also here are the caps the reservoir caps that I'm going to be painting in red so I'm getting ready to do that and I only have this much paint so I can't just go ahead and paint only the caps because I want to be able to make sure that I have enough paint for something else now that something else is a future upgrade that I plan on doing to this Nova and that upgrade is air conditioning now if you've seen when I was when I installed the engine I did state that I had bought this Allen Grove uh, mounting bracket for the alternator to lower the alternator so that I have space to put my air conditioning unit right around here now that's the plan and so the other reason is because I wanted the um, the accessories as far as the alternator and the power steering pump to be pretty much symmetrical so now with the addition of air conditioning in the future that heater core box is no longer going to be used now you've seen that I've um, smoothed out my firewall and so when I remove that box there's going to be a big gaping hole there and it's a little bit too late to be able to think about welding in a panel there and then refinishing the the firewall so that it looks completely um, flattened and, and smooth so that's that's a no-no I mean I can't I, I'm not gonna remove the panels the hinges um, the hood none of that stuff is going to be removed messing up the alignment that I worked hard to get and of course the amount of work involved to be able to refinish that is just unheard of um, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it I'm just too far along on this engine bay that I'm going you know for me to have to go ahead and do that so I had to look for a solution to retain somewhat of that look at the same time uh, fill that gaping hole and so after searching I found that they make this this is a heater core delete plate and I think that this is the answer to my prayers this looks exactly like the heater core plate uh, or the heater core box that's in the engine bay so this will be perfect to cover it up it'll give me the the factory look it will also hide that big gaping hole that will be caused by removing the heater core box and of course it's going to be red and that is why I had to um, hold off and and make sure that um, I don't just paint those little caps and not have enough for this because this right here is priority for me so I will be focusing my attention on this to make this look great and then the caps are secondary so I want to make sure I have enough paint for that now on the side of it you see that I have my jack usage decal now the reason for that is because when I go to the clear coat stage on all these parts I'm going to also clear coat the decal now, if you've seen the um, it's all in the details video that I put out um, I had some radiator support panel decals and so um, I clear coated those decals and they came up perfect so this decal on um, uh, the original one is all moldy so I want to be able to protect this one by putting a clear coat that way it will never get molding and it will look new for the for a very long time so I'm gonna start on this panel I'm gonna have to give it um, you know prep it for paint give it some scratches I gotta put epoxy on it and then of course do my um, paint steps to get it all painted so here are my caps the reservoir caps are now done in velocity red and it just looks beautiful I did my red oxide primer then I did uh, three coats of velocity red to make sure I got nice coverage and I did my three coats of clear so it came out really sweet I really like how it looks in red and then for the decal here's the decal Let's see if we can get a reflection so it's uh, two coats of clear on the decal I just want to make it look nice and shiny and, and give it a protection so two coats two thin layers enough to make it nice and smooth 
no more worries about um, if this thing getting moldy so it's pretty much waterproof now so I'm happy with the way that came out and then finally the heater core delete panel is coated and again I did my um, red oxide epoxy then I did my uh, three coats of velocity red and my three coats three wet coats of clear and I have to say it came out really nice you can see that reflection beautiful it has little dirt nibs obviously as with you know uh, it's normal and they can definitely be buffed out cut and buffed because they're really minor you can see one right there but I'm not going to worry about that because um, it's on the bottom half and when this is in the engine bay you're not going to really see that because it's so tiny so it's going to look really good really good as, as it is so I'm really happy with that and as for the velocity red I'm all out that's it done no more red so I'm really happy that I waited to get this panel before painting the uh, reservoir caps because I would have been really upset if I would have been painting this panel and then right in the middle of painting it I ran out of paint so I'm really glad that I had enough to complete this and as I stated I was gonna make this priority and I did this had to be completed per first before I tackled the reservoir caps so that I ensured that I had enough to finish the panel so I'm really happy with the results so now when these dry uh, these uh, reservoir caps I will put them on the engine bay and we'll take a look at how it looks so um, I'm gonna wait a week for these caps to dry but I didn't want to wait a week to actually make this video so I just basically took the cap and put it on loosely just to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like so that's the um, radiator overflow and basically one of the hoses will go to the to right here to the spout of the radiator cap and then the other hose will be routed through this hole here and then down into that hole so that's for the overflow and then here's the windshield washer bowl bottle and again it's just light, lightly sitting on there and I'm gonna be routing the hose to go under the fender down here and then it'll go all the way to the windshield washer pump which is located behind the fender if, you, if you've seen my videos in the past I had relocated the um, windshield washer motor which was here because I didn't like it there so I relocated it behind the fender along with the windshield washer pump so that I can smooth out the firewall so, that, so I have that clean look so the hose will go into the pump which is located back there so there it is so I like the way it looks red and black now as for the that um, heater core box I'm going to be removing that and um, of course when I go to install everything the new panel will be in its place and what I like about the new panel is the fact that it won't be bulging out like this it'll be pretty much flat up against the firewall and these wires right now they're touching and I never liked that that they were touching so when I replace this, I'm going to have it nicely um, dangling. It's going to be, it's not going to be touching anything. Just like this side. This side, you can see it's not touching the firewall. And that's how I want this side to be. So it's going to be really good. But that's in the future. But at least it's painted and I'm ready to just... Um, do my modifications for my 
um, air conditioning that I will be installing in the future. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you.